Hi, Josie. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Compass. Thanks for coming out tonight, Becky. What? Hey, lady. God, I miss your faces. Your human form. Whew. All right. We've got Catalyst tonight. We have a few minutes. I got on a couple minutes early. Just so I could say hi and uh, get everyone set up. Hey, Taylor, with what we need to do tonight. So I'll repeat it a few times. Equipment is always optional. Um, if you have some dumbbells, some light weights, you can certainly use those. If you have a band, you can certainly use that. Um, but it's optional, you don't have to, all right? And uh, make sure you have something to drink. And, you know, we're just going to really focus on uh, having a good attitude about it all. About it all. So what I realized, and not that I didn't know this before, I guess necessarily, you know, working out in the morning versus working out in the afternoon. You know, what we bring to the table in those situations is very, very different, right? So in the morning, man, it is a new day. We are fresh. We are ready. We have, you know, this fresh mindset. Very different coming into a workout in the morning than in the afternoon or in the evening where we've been working all day or and or homeschooling, um, you know, in meetings all day, whatever it is, you're coming in with a very different mindset, right? So we are just going to come into this workout at the end of the day with everything we've been through today, right? I know my stress level has been going up and down all day for a lot of different reasons, right? So we're just going to bring it down. Hi, you guys. Holly, no way. Mwah. Yay. All right, so we catalyst flow tonight. Mary, too. Woo, Heather. Ah, oh, my heart swells. My heart swells. So... You know, we start with our warm up. It is a dynamic warm up, so um, we will go through the same moves three ish times. And um, if you don't get it the first time, you'll just pick it up the second time. What's important is that we are moving and, um, you know, to warm up. Then we're going to get into our first strength segment. We are focusing um, on lower body, although there'll be some total body stuff. But we're focusing on lower body in that first strength segment. Then we get into our first and only flow. We'll go through that yoga flow three times total. The first and second time we go through together. And that third time you have the opportunity to flow on your own. Then our second strength segment. And uh, that's going to be focused on upper body, although we'll have some core in there as well. And then we're going to move into a little extended core. And yay, Audrey Christina. Hi, guys. And, um, and then we'll stretch in Savasana and, you know, we'll take it from there. All right, it is 5 o'clock. I'm going to turn up the music a little bit. If you can't hear the music, it's totally fine. Um... Play something that you like. If you can't hear this music, play something that you like. Something that feels good, that's relaxing, that's centering, that's motivating in some way. I'm going to switch it up and we're going to get started. So, it is Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. So, for our practice tonight, for our workout tonight, we're going to focus on grounding ourselves, right? We're going to really take that element of the Earth and really allow the energy and the vibe of the earth to come in and ground us literally right through our hands and our feet and our connection to the earth, right? And we're gonna feel everything settle into that strong foundation tonight. All right, my friends, 
here we go. Here we go. Everybody's standing up. Standing up. Breathing. We're going to start rounding those arms bottom to top. Four, three, two. Here we go. Round. Reach. One side doesn't matter. Then squat for two. Round those arms bottom to top. And reach. Squat for two. Ready, lunge, right to left. Nice and easy. Hold it back. Three, two. Bring it up. Left to right. Really reach it back. Three, two. Bring it up. Side lunge to the right. Hold it wide. Squat. Squat down. Round it up. A little slower. A little slower. Left side lunge. Squat. Squat, round it up. Ready? Inhale up. Fold through center. Bend your right leg twice. Bend your left leg twice. Inhale up. Fold through center. Bend. Yeah, we're going to do that one more time. Inhale up. Fold through center. Bend. All right, from the top, round those arms. And reach. Squat for two. If you're just joining, we're just warming up. Round those arms. Hi, Annie. Yes, lunge it back. This time we just alternate the lunges. How low can you get, right? Low. Low. Reach it all the way back. Open through your chest. One more. Side lunge, squat, take it right to the other side, side lunge, squat, do it again, side lunge, squat, one more, inhale up, fold through center, and bend, breathe, inhale up, fold through center, and bend, we're going to do that one more time. Inhale up. Fold. And then take it from the top. One more time. Round it. And reach. Squat for two. Nice and low. Here we go. Squat for two. Low. Lunge it back. Just alternate those lunges. Yeah, let things heat up nice and easy. One more lunge each side. Side lunge, here we go. Squat, side lunge, squat. One more each side. Last one. Inhale up, fold through center. Bend. Inhale up. Fold through center. Bend. Inhale up. Exhale to heart center. All right, my friends. All right, are you ready? If you're just joining us, we just did a little warm up. We're getting right into our first strength segment. So, our first strength segment is lower body. We're going to do two exercises, 30 seconds each, and we're going to do it two times through. So that means I'm just turning my timer on here. Sorry. Whew. There we go. All right. Two exercises. Here's the first one. You're going to come down into what I call a beast. You're on all fours. You tuck your toes and then you lift your knees up. Some people call it a bear, right? Right side only. We're going to lift to the side, bring it down, lift it to the back. So you're alternating side and back with that knee hovering over the mat. So just the right side, 30 seconds. Then you come up. 
right foot forward, toes forward, come down as low as you can with your back flat, touch into that skater squat, jack to the side, touch, jack. If you don't want to jump, down, up, down, you can step, right? 30 seconds each. Then, so we go through two times, last minute, we're gonna be holding a squat and moving through a very low squat. So I'll tell you that when we get to it, all right? So everybody down. Line it up, tuck your toes. We start in three, up, two, one. Right leg only, out and up. So keep your spine long. Look at the mat. Don't look around. And you're hovering that left knee, yeah? Try to keep your back nice and flat. Really squeezing through your booty. Hang on to it. Three, two, one. Awesome. Everybody up. Here we go. Down and jack. So go at your own pace. Toes forward, toes to the side. Skater or surfer squat, everything forward, right? Now remember you have the option of not jumping. You can step. Make it your own for five more seconds. Three, two, one. Back down. your beast. Tuck your toes. Hover. Left side. Three, two, one. Out and back. Out and back. Don't look at your knees or feet, right? Unless you check. Like I got to lower my knee. Woo. Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Come on up. Left foot forward. Three, two, one. Surfer squat. Get as low as you can. You don't have to get to the ground, right? Turn to jack or step. Remember your options. Whew. Yes, breathe through it. Focus on good form. Good form, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up. Come into a wide squat. So your toes are pointing out a little. Right? Hold it. We're going to add movement. It is optional. We bring our right leg over to our left. Stay low. Come open. Bring our left to our right. And just move back and forth. You're not coming up through center. You're staying low the whole time. If you want to just hold that squat low and wide, you can. Come on, can you get a little lower? Pull your core in. Pull it in and breathe. Breathe. We're still here. We're still here. Focus. You feel that fire? You feel it in your legs, yeah? Can you get lower? Come on, I know you're creeping up. Stay low. Woo! You had 10 seconds. That's it. That's it. Then you have five, four, three, two, one. Woo, bring it up. Shake it out. How do we do? How'd we do? 
Cheers. Little heart rate up, little sweat going, yeah. Keep those legs moving a little bit. Big inhale, awesome. Through your nose, open your mouth. Breathe out. Yeah. Woo. Awesome, yeah, feeling that burn. Woo. So, if you are just joining us on this cold but beautiful Wednesday evening, we just finished our first strength segment. Hold your feet. Roll those shoulders down and back. Inhale up. Exhale, side bend over to your right. Inhale up through center. Side bend to your left. Inhale up. Let's do it again, right to left, moving with your breath. One more time. Inhale up, exhale, forward fold all the way through center. Take rag doll. Hang on to your elbows, let the crown of your head just drop down. You can move around in this a little bit, bending those legs side to side, yeah. Breathe. All right, wherever you are, take your right hand under your face, so bend your knees enough so your hand is on the ground. I want you to bend your right knee straight in your left and lift up through that left arm. Pull your shoulders out of your ears. One more big breath. Release it down, switch sides. Left hand down, bend into your left leg, straighten through your right, and inhale up. Really try and stack those shoulders. And breathe. One more big breath. Release it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. We're gonna go through our first vinyasa. So you can chaturanga, up dog, down dog, or you can add some catalyst spice. You can add extra push-ups or our catalyst vinyasa, push-up, side plank, push-up, side plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, or you can go right into down dog. Find your vinyasa, we're gonna set up for our first flow. So everybody meets in down dog, get some movement in that down dog, shake your head no. Shake it, yes. Roll those shoulders down and back. Spread those fingers wide. Slight bend in your knee. Lift your booty, chest to thigh. Big inhale, open your mouth side out. Do it again, big inhale. Exhale. Here we go, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, drop that back heel, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga, take it down. Up dog, down dog. Big inhale. Exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, chair. And hold. I'll back up a little. So I want you to start moving your arms in that chair. Tuck your tailbone slightly, pulling your belly button in. Wiggle your toes, bring your arms down and up. Moving with your breath. If you don't like straight arms, you can do this. Hands to heart center and up. Wherever you are, everybody does it one more time. On your next inhale, rooting into that right leg, warrior three. Breathe. Yeah. Big inhale. Exhale, standing split. Keep your hips squared. Point those left toes down. 
Big inhale, strong exhale. Inhale, rise up to standing. Get that weight into your right leg. Bring your left leg forward. Breathe. Big inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Sweep everything back. Yes. Beautiful. Big inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Bend into that front leg. Drop your left leg back and open up. Sink into it. Roll your shoulders down and back. Beautiful. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, forward, half moon. Bring that right hand down. Lift your left leg up. This time, we're stacking our shoulders, stacking our hips. Breathe. Full expression here. You can move your eye gaze. You can move your hand. Right, bringing it to heart center. Right, maybe take a bind. Taking your left ankle with your left hand, whatever works. One more big breath here. Lower down slowly, low lunge. One breath. Plant your hands. Step back. Find your vinyasa. Woo. Nice job. Feeling all that heat. Meeting up and down dog. Reset, regroup. We're going to take that on the left side. Big inhale, strong exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your heel. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big inhale. Exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale to chair. And breathe. So moving with your breath. Get that arm movement two or three times. Or not at all, honestly, if you don't want to. Breathe. Hold that chair. Taking your weight into your left side. Slide that right leg back into warrior three. And your next exhale, down to standing split. Point the toes on your right leg, down, square your hips. On your next inhale, really bend and put your weight into that left leg, rise up. Breathe. Big inhale, strong exhale. Inhale, warrior three. Breathe. Yes, warrior two. Slowly lower down, open up. Woo. Yes, feel that grounding, feel that earth, that strong foundation. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, half moon. Left hand down. Really stack your hips, stack your shoulders. Find your full expression here, whatever that is, right? Big inhale, exhale, slowly lower down to low lunge. Step back, vinyasa. Whatever vinyasa you choose. All right, we're gonna go through one more time on each side together. We're gonna go through a little quicker, moving with our breath. So let's link up, big inhale, strong exhale. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. 
Exhale, Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Big inhale. Exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, chair. Exhale. Inhale, get that arm movement. Right leg down, warrior three. Big inhale. Exhale, standing split. Inhale, rise up. Another big inhale, exhale, warrior three. Big inhale, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, half moon. Big inhale, exhale, low lunge. Big inhale, exhale, step back, vinyasa. Woo. Come into your breath here. You take water whenever you need it, my friends. Big inhale, strong exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down dog. Big inhale. Exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, chair. Get some movement. Breathe. Breathe. Inhale, hold it up. Rooting into that left leg, exhale, warrior three. Big inhale, exhale, standing split. Inhale, rise up. Yeah, big breath, big inhale. Exhale, back to warrior three. Big inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, half moon. Breathe. Big inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Big inhale. Exhale, step back, rinse it off. Find your vinyasa. With whatever you need to do, to find your way back to down dog. Now, you have that third flow on your own. So, find your breath and just start moving. Just start moving. You can take what you like, you can leave the rest. If you just want to be in child's pose, that's okay too. You got this. You got this.
When you are finished, you find your way through your final vinyasa and you come into child's pose. You can drop me a heart, a thumbs up, something. Let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling. If you need to grab some water, grab some water. And then go back to your child's pose. Rest. Roll that forehead back and forth. Maybe walk those hands over to the right hand side of your mat. Then take it back to the other side. Release those hips back to your ankles. Whew, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yes. Beautiful. Love it, love it. Oh, I'm glad you can hear the music, Christina. That makes me happy. Oh, fabulous. I'm like dripping sweat everywhere. I love it. All right, if you are in down dog, Drop your knees, come back to a seated position. If you are in child's pose, just come up to a seated position. All right, we're gonna go into our second strength segment. So we're gonna focus on upper body, but we're gonna be working down here. So I just wanna tell you what we're gonna be doing. Same format, two exercises, 30 seconds each. Then that last exercise, we're going longer, all right? First two exercises, single arm plank. So that in and of itself is enough. Feet wide, right hand right under your face. You can be on your knees here. That's enough. You can take that left hand alongside your body. If you want more, you bring it forward and back, forward and back looking down at your hand the whole time. If you really want more, grab a light weight or even your water bottle. Totally fine. Second move. Weights or bands or nothing. So I'll do it from the side. You're on your knees. You're on the top of your feet in the back. Your body is perfectly straight. Tuck your booty. You're gonna slide forward. Hinge back at your knees. Come in, in and out. Hinge, in and out. Right? So what I want to avoid is this. Right? Keep everything straight. In and out. So you can do that with weights also. 30 seconds there. Then 30 seconds with the other hand down. Back to that. It's a... Modified camel actually out back and then our final move is going to be in boat pose. All right, so everyone down into your plank Right hand under your face feet or knees whatever you choose, but they are wide in three two one go so You're just if you are moving your arm sweeping it up overhead and down along your body. Try and keep your hips square. Elongate through your spine, crown your head forward, heels back. Yeah, breathe, because you have less than 10 seconds, right? You can fight through this for four, three, two, one. Bring it down, grab your weights, or don't, whatever works. Three, two, one. Out, back, and in. So you're going at your own pace. Just really focus on keeping that body nice and straight when you go back. 
You're on the top of your feet. Three, two, one. Woo. Put those down. Left hand down, feet wide. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Sweep it. Body strong and straight. Now feel that connection with the earth, right? Feel that energy through your hand, through your feet, pulling through your whole body. Feel that connection. Feel that strength, that power, right? That high vibration of that energy. For five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Back to the weights. Going a little lighter. Three, two, one. In and out. So, we're just ending this portion of our second strength segment, if you're just joining. Great. Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Put it down, come right into boat. If you wanna hang on to a weight, hang on to it. Right into boat. If you have a weight, you go belly, knees, toes, knees, belly. You can. Do that just with your hands. Everybody's in it. Go ahead. So if you don't have a weight, you're moving a little quicker. You can either straighten your legs to get to your toes or just pull it in. I'm going back to the weight just to make it interesting. Pull that belly button in. So you have a slight, slight curve in your back. A slight rounding in your low back, yeah? Yeah. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. Woo! If you need to just hold the boat, hold the boat! That's all right. It all counts. It all counts. Keep breathing and just stay in it for five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Sit up tall, hug it in, hug it in. How are we doing? Because we're going right into extended core. All right, so stretch it out. I'm gonna show you what we're doing. We're gonna do three exercises. The first one is a single leg mountain climber. So you're in the plank. We're gonna start with your right leg. Elbow, chest, opposite elbow. It looks like this. Elbow, chest, elbow, chest, elbow, chest. So you're going as fast as you can for 30 seconds. Then, you come to your booty and we're gonna kick it out. Lift up straight, bring it in. Out, up straight, bring it in. 30 seconds. Then we go back to the mountain climber. Whew, on the other side. Then the kick out for 30 seconds. We end with a one minute burner. Then we stretch. Are you ready? Are you ready? What is happening? My boat began to sink. <laughs> Mary, you're amazing. But it didn't. But it didn't. All right. So you can be on your uh, forearm for that one um, leg mountain climber, right? If you don't want to go on your wrist, you don't have to. 30 seconds, we start. 
in five, four, three, two, one. So just your right leg, pulling it all the way in and all the way back. And you really have to breathe through it to keep that form. Woo! Yes, 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 we're almost there for five, four, three, two, one. Take it right back, get right into it. Don't wait for me. Out, up and in. So a little circle, a little circle. So use your hands for support and breathe. You're already over halfway. If you want to just kick it out and in, you can do that, right? Out and in. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Take it back, come on. 30 seconds. Again, this time, left leg, four, three, two, one. So, if your right knee is down, you're still doing the same movement, right? It all counts. So right here, we let go of any judgment that there's something wrong with what we're doing. There is nothing wrong with what you're doing. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Get right into it. Don't even wait. Right into it. You have to really focus. Woo! Little break there. Because it's hard. Hang on. We have less than 10 seconds. We can do it. Pull together and fight for it. Four, three, two, one. Ah! Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Feet wide. Slight bend. Whew. Arms in front. Nice and straight. Hang on to a weight if you want. To the right side and forward. So, just really, really focus, not on speed, and just twisting through your belly. It's an act of recovery. So you're breathing and you're slowly twisting. That's it, that's it. Keep your hips forward, ready? Switch sides. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So, all sorts of weird things are going to happen. You're going to want to hunch your shoulders up. You're going to want to turn through your whole hip, right? To get your hands over. Resist. Resist. Doesn't have to be a big movement. You want that twist straight through your center. And breathe. You're breathing. Your body is actually starting to settle a little bit. So focus on your breath. Four, three, two, one. Step it in. Inhale up. Exhale over to your right side, just like in the beginning. Inhale up through center. Exhale over to the other side, your left side whatever. Inhale up. Do it again. Inhale up. Exhale forward full. Inhale halfway lift. Exhale step right back to your down dog. And then go ahead and find pigeon on your right side. So 
your left foot is somewhere in the vicinity of your, or your right foot is in the vicinity of your left hand. Your hips are square. That left leg is straight behind you. So don't let this cheek come down and reach the ground if that's not where your flexibility is. Keep those hips square. If you have a yoga block, you can put it there. You can roll up a towel if you'd like. If you need that support and you can put that there, that helps from letting it drop down. Now, if you want to come down lower here, you totally can. But you don't have to. But wherever you are, even if you're on your hands, your forearms, or forward or folded forward, really release through your head, neck, and shoulders. Unclench your jaw. And breathe. So feel that connection to your mat. Feel that grounding down. Yeah. Release your heaviness and your tension right into the ground. If you want, you can walk your hands all the way up and take your left hand and reach back to your left thigh. It's intense through your quad, so it may not be for you, and that's okay. It's just an option. Release that down. Plant both hands into the mat. Tuck that left toe. Come back through down dog and switch to the other side. So take pigeon on the left side. So walking that right leg back a little. And you may or may not have the same flexibility on this side. You may have more, may have less. So where, whatever it is, you just sink into it. Using that towel or that block under the opposite hip here. And really coming into your breath. Filling yourself up with that energy, that vibration from the earth, right? We are all grounded into the same earth, my friends. That energy is what connects us all. That energy that we all talk about all the time, that energy that we breathe in, that we feel through us, that is us because we're all connected to the same ground. Doesn't matter where we are. So feel it, allow it in. Release your energy right into it. Coming up to your hands, if you want to reach back on that right side. Again, just recognizing it may feel a little different on this side. It's an intense stretch, but it's amazing. Release that down. Plant your hands, tuck that right toe. Lift up, step back into your down dog. Come forward, drop your feet or your knees, cross your feet, come to your back and come right into happy baby. Come right into happy baby. So take your peace fingers to your toes or to the, your hands to the bottom of your feet. You can take a wide straddle. You can move side to side. Just open through those hips, through your groin, through your adductors. Release, bring your knees into your chest. And I want you to take a few moments and find a stretch that you need. Maybe you need a twist, side to side. Maybe you need an inversion, or you can take your legs up a wall, if you have a wall nearby. Or you can take your feet, soles together, knees wide, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, and you can just rest. So take a few seconds here 
and just really listen to your body and find what you need. Just find what you need. Wherever you are, I want you to release whatever stretch you're in. And I want you to come into Savasana. You can stretch your arms up overhead first, taking that big full body stretch. Then releasing your arms to your side, letting your legs go long. And just close your eyes. Just close your eyes and just breathe. The earth has a vibration and we're all part of it. I want you to tune into that. my friends start to wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes bringing your awareness back to your breath back to your body slowly pulling your knees into your chest roll over to your right side and pause pause in this grounding moment feeling the earth beneath you and the energy around you and know that it's always there for you to tap into bring yourself up to a seated position hands to heart center my friends I honor the energy the love and the light in you because it is also in me namaste my friends Namaste! Woo! You are amazing. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. If you weren't able to do the workout, check us out on YouTube. We're here on Insta Live for 24 hours, and then it switches over. Thank you so much for coming out tonight, you guys. It's the best I felt all day. I'm not kidding. You're amazing. I love you so much. I can't wait to flow with you again on Sunday morning. Check out all of our instructors in the meantime. Happy Earth Day. Peace out.